I mean, because Mark Zell was walking, um, uh, right. who was it? It was Christie's um, uh, Chief aide. executive aide, executive yeah. Aide. We're going to have to hear room. all about that when he comes uh, yeah. back. Um, but yes, in other news today. In other news, um, I didn't tell you, but I, I did win the Powerball lottery. I'm just trying to keep my this cool because I don't want show, anybody isn't to. It? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, apparently three people uh, won the uh, Powerball lottery in the States, about a prize of $1.6 billion. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> We Sometimes. have a report about it. Let's check it out. Let's, t let's take a look. Okay. In suburban Los Angeles, from the eastern coast of Florida and in small town western Tennessee, the rumors are flying tonight. I think it would be someone local. Can you imagine? No. A world record jackpot. At this hour, not one of the three winners has come forward to claim their share of the largest U.S. jackpot ever. But that didn't stop thousands of neighbors from crowding to 7-Eleven in Chino, California, just in case the new multimillionaire showed up. I'm envious of the winner. <laughs> I love it. Instead, they found the store's owner, who today received a million of his own for selling a winning ticket. It's a land of opportunity. So if you, anybody come, you will achieve your dreams. Each of those hot little pieces of paper is worth $528,800,000. Most winners take the cash payout, which is now $327,835,000 before taxes. This week's winners are especially lucky. All three tickets were sold in states that don't tax lottery winnings or have no state income tax. North of Memphis, the winning ticket was sold in a small town with one stoplight and fewer than 6,000 people. Dana Nafee owns the mom and pop grocery store that sold it. My gut tells me it's a local person because most of our lottery customers are local people. In Melbourne, Florida, this is the chaos outside the home of a family who swears they didn't win. But word on the street is that they did. For most of the day, they couldn't even get out of the house. In at least 26 states, there were plenty of consolation prizes, million dollar and two million dollar winners who matched five out of six numbers, including a group of preschool teachers in Kentucky who rushed to collect their check, some who still owe student loans. Tiny tornadoes. Yes, we did not win, Ami. We didn't win. We didn't win. What yes. would you have done with, with the money, Yeah. What, oh what would you What God. would you first buy? What would, what would I first buy? Immediately. House, imme car, something like that? Uh, or is it, I don't know. Yeah, house, house. house I, I would go for the house. You, you tack me. Or something pink for the girl. Yes. Pink. Uh, okay. pink, pink. Pink house. Pink house. Okay. Anyway. anyway. Back to politics a little, just quickly. Uh, a very prominent magazine uh, gave an endorsement to Bernie uh, Sanders, who, as I said, is in tie in Iowa. This is The Nation. It's a weekly uh, progressive magazine, a very old magazine, very around old for magazine. about 100 years, I think. Yeah. But it's a really, really important endorsement for Sanders and says a lot about his stance uh, standing in the race now. So this is, this is no, no, good I, news I, I for him. It's going to be fascinating to see how it, sh how it comes down on the um, uh, Democratic Party and the ticket. You know, Bernie um, Sanders, when it comes to, you know, edging that Hillary lead, so to speak, but that, in that's Iowa, at least, definitely. Iowa. And uh, certainly in New Hampshire, where he's leading yeah. quite uh, quite well. And the what news did I tell that you? You, Renault. you are the soothsayer. <laughs> you are the Look, suitsayer. Look, you know, when the Volkswagen uh, scandal uh, happened, I told you, you know, it's probably not the last uh, company we're going to exactly. hear about. And here we're hearing about Renault. But look, it's, it's, still, it's still good news. Right. Still good news for Renault in a way. First of all, it's only because the, the police raided their offices that their shares plunged. But there are there's still no evidence that they did anything wrong. Okay. And, and their managers are saying that they did not do anything wrong. But we still haven't heard anything about the investigation, about the cars that were investigated. We still have to hear what those the official answer is. But meanwhile, just just hearing about the investigation, investors got all jittery. Plunge. Stocks plunged 20%. Yes. They went up back a little, up to, and, and maybe the, the drop was about 10% at the end of the day. Yeah. Of, uh, of trading, but um, I really do not think that this is the last we're going to hear no, about the, the auto industry. Not the last car company, and y you know what? I don't want to say everybody gets what the, what's coming to them, but there, I said it out loud, yeah. not just in my head. Ami, I want to thank you, um, uh, and we'll see you in a few minutes. For yes. now.